Welcome back to Pi by Tubes, and today I wanted to talk about PipX. So PipX is useful as a package manager that installs dependency globally. So it does use a virtual environment, but it uh, makes it in your local folder, I believe. Uh, and these, these dependencies are now just available system-wide, and you don't have to kind of make a temporary virtual environment and manage that there. So let me show you an example. So here's the homepage. Um, we give kind of gives you a quick overview of what the tool does. Uh, for installation on Mac, I only had to do brew install pipx and pipx ensure path. And also the other OSs are described here. So if we go to my terminal, I have it installed here. And if I do a pipx list, I should see all the dependencies I've globally available, which actually are more than expected. <laughs> And mostly those are command line tools I use regularly. Uh, like how do I? Well, not that regularly. <laughs> Eat local to solve a byte locally. B Python as an enriched shell. Uh, Black and iSword and Flake. But I usually run those these days with pre-commits. Got a video about that here. And recently I also started to install PyBet Search here. Right. So how it works is. Um, I write search as a console script. I do a which search. You see that that's actually linked to that local bin search. If you anticipate wanting to use a tool anywhere, uh, you can do pipx install, for example, pipex search. And that's already installed, right? But otherwise, it would install it. And you see that it installs it into your dot local folder. Um, and yeah, to keep those. Dependencies up to date. You can also use the upgrade flag and expect that to be already up to date, actually. So now, now that I made a search alias, video decouple, and that's now running the PyBite search um, version that's installed in the pipx uh, virtual environment. But wherever I am on my system, I can now search that. Um, I, I can now use that uh, search command, right, from the pipe search package. Um, so let's see, eat local, for example. It's another utility uh, that lets you uh, solve bytes locally. There's another video on the channel we have about that. You can see that here. And here, for example, I'm I suspect it's out to date, so let's do pip x great eat local. Okay, it's already at the latest. That's mostly how I use it. So I install dependencies, I can upgrade them, I can list them. Um yeah, and you would typically use it for uh command line utilities. Um for example, if you try to install a library. I think before this uh, would give me a warning, not anymore, but this is not typically my <clears throat> use case of PipX because Django is definitely uh, specific to a project I'm working on and then I'm going with a virtual environment uh, locally to that project. So again, PipX, I mostly use it for um, utilities that I want to have globally available. Again, here's my list. That's it. I hope it's useful. When you want to have certain Python tools available globally, then definitely look into PipX. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.